Hello everyone and welcome back to Medi Insights. Today, we explore the comprehensive details of trastuzumab injection. In this video, we discuss its clinical use in treating HER2, positive cancers, proper dosage guidelines, precise mechanism of action, potential side effects, and important advice for optimal administration and patient safety during therapy effectively. Starting with use of trastuzumab injection. Trastuzumab is a monoclonal antibody specifically designed for the treatment of cancers that overexpress the human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, or HER2, notably HER2, positive breast cancer, and, in some cases, gastric cancer. It is used both in the early stage, or adjuvant, setting and for metastatic disease. By targeting HER2, trastuzumab helps inhibit tumor growth and improves patient outcomes when combined with chemotherapy or other targeted treatments. Now, let's discuss the dosage of trastuzumab injection. The dosage regimen for trastuzumab depends on the treatment protocol and the patient's individual clinical profile. For intravenous administration, a common regimen involves an initial loading dose of 8 mg per kilogram, followed by a maintenance dose of 6 mg per kilogram every three weeks. Alternatively, a weekly regimen may be used starting with a loading dose of 4 mg per kilogram and continuing with 2 mg per kilogram weekly. For subcutaneous administration, when available, fixed-dose subcutaneous formulations may be used, though dosing details vary and are defined by specific product guidelines. Dosage must be tailored to each patient, with adjustments made based on cardiac function, tolerability, and concurrent treatments. Always follow the prescribing information and consult a specialist for precise dosing. Moving on to the mechanism of action of trastuzumab injection. Trastuzumab exerts its anti-tumor effects through two main mechanisms. The first is HER2 receptor inhibition, where trastuzumab binds to the extracellular domain of the HER2 receptor, blocking receptor dimerization and downstream signaling pathways that lead to cell proliferation and survival. The second mechanism is antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, or ADCC, in which the binding of trastuzumab to HER2, positive cancer cells flags these cells for destruction by the immune system, thereby enhancing immune-mediated tumor cell lysis. This dual mechanism contributes significantly to the therapeutic efficacy of trastuzumab in reducing tumor growth and progression. Next, we cover the side effects of trastuzumab injection. While trastuzumab is an effective treatment, it may cause several side effects. Infusion-related reactions such as fever, chills, nausea, and headache can occur during or shortly after infusion. One of the most significant concerns is cardiotoxicity, meaning there is potential for cardiac dysfunction. Regular monitoring of heart function, for example via echocardiograms, is essential during treatment. Other adverse effects include diarrhea, skin rashes, fatigue, and, rarely, allergic reactions or pulmonary issues. Monitoring for side effects and early intervention are critical to ensure patient safety throughout therapy. Finally, let's discuss important advice for using trastuzumab injection. For pretreatment evaluation, ensure comprehensive cardiac assessments, such as echocardiograms, before initiating therapy to rule out pre-existing heart conditions. During treatment, regular cardiac monitoring is crucial, as early detection of cardiotoxicity can mitigate long-term damage. Regarding administration guidelines, administer the injection under the supervision of an experienced oncology team, following strict infusion protocols to reduce the risk of infusion reactions. Patient education is also important. Inform patients about the potential side effects and advise them to report any symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, or unusual fatigue immediately. Adherence to the prescribed dosage and schedule is vital, and adjustments should be made based on individual patient responses and emerging side effects. Lastly, be cautious with drug interactions. Always consult healthcare providers before combining treatments to avoid adverse interactions. By end of this video, we hope you gained valuable insights into trastuzumab injection therapy. Consult healthcare professionals for personalized advice and adhere to prescribed guidelines to maximize benefits and minimize risks. Thank you for watching and always stay informed.